Good day kids! Today we're going to discuss TLE Agriculture 6, Module 4. This is Teacher Sandy Singo. Let's begin. In this video, we're going to discuss Sources of Fruit Bearing Trees, Lesson 8, and Lesson 9, How to Care Seedlings. Fruit bearing trees are available and sold in different stages of growth like seeds and seedlings and ready to be transplanted in desired area. Among the sources are number 1, commercial nursery. This is managed by private individuals usually selling trees and fruit bearing trees. The famous nurseries are the following Falcata Seedlings, Badion Plant Nursery, and La Coriana Fruit Tree Nursery. Number two is Agricultural Training Institute or ATI. These schools offer courses related to agriculture like production and distribution of seedlings. We have ATI NCR, these are the locations, ATI Isabela, and ATI Bulacan. Number three is the Department of Agriculture. This is a government agency responsible for all agricultural activities and research in terms of vegetables and fruit production. This also provides quality planting materials for priority commodities to enhance productivity and production. Number four is the Bureau of Plant Industry or BPI. This develops scientific improvement for each plant species in locality and adjacent places. We have BPI Malate, Manila, BPI Diliman, Quezon City, and BPI Los Baños, Laguna. These are BPI locations. So, it also ensures, ensures sorry, availability of quality seeds, safety of plant, food, and development of crop farming technologies and safeguard of the plant industry. Number five is the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. This ensures the continuous production of adequate supply of planting materials to meet the requirements for high quality seeds and seedlings by the government and private sectors in the establishment and the development of tree plantations, tree farms, forest gardens, forestation, agroforestation projects and rehabilitations of watersheds and coastal areas. Let's remember, fruit bearing trees are available and sold in different stages of growth like seeds and seedlings. These are ready to be transplanted in a desired area. Among the sources are Commercial Nursery, Agricultural Training Institute or ATI, Department of Agriculture or DA, Bureau of Plant Industry or BPI, and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources or the DENR. Now we're done in Lesson 8. Now let's proceed to Lesson 9. Lesson 9 is all about proper way of caring seedlings. Seedlings are young plants, especially those raised from seeds and not from a sexual way. Its development starts with the germination of the seed. That is the reason why tree seedlings are usually grown and cared for in a plant nursery. Now, this lesson will focus more on the activities that are necessary 
for the proper care of tree seedlings like watering, weeding, fertilizing, pest, disease control, shading, root pruning, and hardening. Watering. Let's proceed. Water the tree seedling twice a day, preferably early in the morning and late in the afternoon. Small seedlings need little quantity of water at frequent intervals unlike bigger seedlings. Overwatering lessens the essential nutrients and increase fungal bacterial and dumping of disease which can cause the root and stem to rot. Insufficient watering causes wilting and stunted plant growth. Weeding, this is a process of removing unwanted plants called weeds that tends to overgrow the tree seedling. Weeding should be done carefully so that the tree seedlings will not be damaged. It will cause the tree seedling to fully absorb the moisture and nutrients from the soil. This also provides enough space for the roots and plants to grow and exposure to sunlight. Fertilizing This is a process of applying fertilizers to supply the essential nutrients that the growing tree seedlings need. You can apply a complete soluble fertilizer with the following components Nitrogen N Phosphorus P Potassium K So the letter N, P, K are the symbols for each component So this is done every 15 days For small tree seedlings, use lower concentration of fertilizer by dissolving 10 kilograms of fertilizer in 200 liters of water. This will avoid nutrient loss and possible fertilizer burn on the plants. Shading. This is a process of providing shade to protect the tree seedlings from damaging caused by direct sunlight. You can use coconut or banana sheets Pogon or other locally available materials such as net, nipa, etc. as temporary shades during and shortly after seed germination and after transplanting. So let's proceed to control pests and disease. Nursery pests and diseases greatly affect the quantity and quality of tree seedlings. Without preventive control measure, they can cause losses, disrupting planting schedule and reduce plant survival. Pests and diseases of plants. We have to control these pests and diseases in plants. What are go what are we going to do? Let's find out. So the pests are rats, birds, insects, are pied, apides and disease are fungal and bacterial disease. So number one, bring or take into the nursery only plant materials that are free from plant pests and diseases. Number two, disinfect all nursery equipment and general working area regularly number three place the tree seedling in pots and containers in safe areas like nursery sterilize all potting materials number five constantly monitor the occurrence of pests and diseases Avoid dumping of disease. So dumping off is a term commonly used indicating the sudden death of seedlings often caused by soil 
born fungus stimulated to grow by nutrients from germin germinating seed. That's dumping off. So we uh, proceed the uh, basic do's and don'ts in controlling disease of seedlings. So we have the do's and don'ts. So let's start with the do's. One is make or buy sterilized soil then use clean and sterilized containers next provide plenty of air circulation um, then the next provide a lo location like nursery which have a good ventilation with soft gentle breeze next thin seedlings to increase air circulations provide enough sunlight as possible that's important dry out the surface of the soil between watering watering from the bottom is preferred okay that's the do's and what are the don'ts don't over water plants next don't use fertilizer on your new seedlings and don't use tray covers it increases the humidity level and encourages disease growth. So, pruning the roots. This is the cutting of roots that grow out of the pots or containers in order to have quality and uniform seedlings size. Lift the pots or containers regularly and cut the root out growth using pruning shears. This will facilitate the easy transport of three seedlings. Hardening. This is done by gradually exposing the three seedlings to the elements. Wind, sun, rain that causes the toughening of the plant to adapt to the surrounding. This is also done before the transplanting. In the period of hardening, you should reduce watering and shading. You should also avoid the use of fertilizing fertilizer during the hardening period. This will prepare the tree seedling from the prevailing environmental condition in the planting location. So health and safety precautions. We have, let's start. Have a good and safety place where you can perform the activities. Use PPE, personal protective equipment, when working like gloves, mask, goggles, apron, etc. Always pay attention to what you are doing. Presence of mind. Use only appropriate tools for the right job. Use tools that are in good condition. This is important. Always sharpen the blade of your cutting tools like knife and bolo. Make sure that no one is around when you are sharpening the tools that you might hit accidentally. Clean and store the tools in an appropriate place after use. And last is wash or clean yourself after working. So you have to remember in all area of the workplace, safety is always a priority. Let's remember, seedlings are the most delicate plants in the nursery. Proper care must always be provided to improve their growth. All activities done in caring tree seedlings should follow scientific processes and must observe health and safety practices. The tree seedlings can be maintained by watering the tree seedlings regularly weeding, fertilizing, light control, pest and disease control, seedling grading, and seedling transport. Okay, that's the end of our video lesson. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot. Until next time, bye!